Morning YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gunman Raw. So today we have this Nissan X-Trail here. We're spraying down the side. It's a three layer pearl. The color code is QAB. So as you can see there, we've got a brand new door here and the rest of it is like just a repair there, repair there. Flick down the whole side. Um, so it's actually first thing in the morning as I'm making this video. I did actually have this job ready to go last night by about 2.30, so I could have gone it. Like, I could have tried getting it done, but the bosses here are so damn cool, man. They're so easy going. There's no stress or pressure. Um, he's just like, just do it in the morning, man. Like, in such a cool, calm, collected manner. Um, I just... That's my favorite thing about this, um, this shop, man, the bosses. And... It really does make a big difference to your life and your work experience um, when your bosses are so easy going. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, I guess coming from where, especially coming from, well, not the, not the very previous shop. The very previous shop was that the Porsche shop that I was in, but um, prior to that, I was at the one in Perth, and that was another smash shop, but... That place was, um, with all due respect to my old boss, they were cool as well, but it wasn't managed as well, if you know what I mean. It was, there was like more of the rush, 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 like the Friday rush, hurry up, it's gotta go, it's gotta go. Um, whereas this shop here, you don't get any of that. So it just seems like it's managed a bit better, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, we're ready to put the wet on wet primer down. I've actually been putting a touch more reducer in my wet on wet primer these days um, I've found that it just um it, it helps it stop pinching as much and I just find it dries a bit quicker too Yeah, that's good Yeah, so like more so on the bonnets and stuff like that um, I've found just that little extra, I just put a dash in, I don't actually measure exactly how much more thinners I've been putting in just a little bit more um, so it's not gonna, you're not looking for full coverage or anything like that uh, with your wet on wet, it doesn't matter I'm just gonna go, that's fine that's enough I always do the outside of the panel first and that way when you do the inside the overspray is going to land in that, that nice wet coat. Rather than turn into a sand pit, that you then have to spray over. Hopefully you can hear me. I do get some people complaining about the audio every now and then. But for this, at the moment I can't really, I haven't got any real good ideas to improve that. Because I do like this mask so much. They've got this mask has got that glass visor, you may have noticed. So I get perfect vision. But obviously you can't hear me perfectly. It would probably be better with some of those other ones, like the hood. The hooded one. You'd probably get better audio out of it. But I've I've had some people trying to tell me to use a microphone but that would just it just wouldn't work with with this mask all right so that's it now i'm going to go and clean out this gun and i'll be back here and we'll all the masks is already already done as you probably noticed um i'll be back here in a few minutes and we'll get that old crest all down we'll get the color ready in the gun i'll see you soon all right continuing on guys um, so yeah, just, just went and cleaned out that wet on wet gun and as you may notice here I've already actually done all the masking but I just threw a piece of plastic over the car just so it's not going to get overspray when I was doing that door so I do have a couple of little finishing touches there to do a little bit of fine line down the bottom there on the rear bumper and I'm going to do a false edge up here too I 
throw that down there for now, that'll be all right. Um, so yeah, another thing I was gonna talk about is, um, I know a lot of people would look at something like that and say, hey, why don't you put some of that white wet on wet down over there at the same time? Um, the way I see it, like they'll say, um, maybe it's gonna cover better as well, but the way I see it, like, you're gonna put one coat of wet on wet down to get better coverage, or one coat of that to get better coverage. I'd rather put the proper colored base coat um, I've found whenever I do wet on wet over part of a panel, like let's just say that's where you finish, you're always going to get like a bit of a step down, even if you put a bit of um, thinners over the edge, like the only way to really stop it is by sanding it, and then if you're sanding non-sanding primer, it's not non-sanding primer is it, it's just primer, so you know, you're not really saving anything. Um, that's why I generally, like, and don't get me wrong, there was a couple of cut-throughs here. Um, and, well, this one here was actually cut through to uh, body filler. And what can happen, if you cut through to body filler, you can actually expose more pinholes. So what I did there, I actually put some UV primer over the top of it. But some of the smaller ones, which were just um, bare metal, I just put a bit of 1K primer over the top of it. A little bit of 1K etch primer out of the aerosol can out there. And... Um, and yeah, that, that's enough, that's totally fine. Uh, look, at the end of the day, that's just the way I do it. It's not the only way to do it. I know there's lots of other people that do it different ways. I had some guy like on my main channel, like, I might have been on my raw channel, I can't even remember, but he's having a go at me for not, not using wet on wet enough or sealer or whatever you guys call it in the States. And it's like, dude, you obviously don't even watch enough of my stuff to, if you think that I don't use wet on wet. I mean, I used it on that door there. Um, but yeah, just some people are just off their head, you know. I had some um, absolute tripper on my main channel the other day. Just, co he's calling me the Brit. He, he did like this big write up about how I did a bad review on one of his favorite guns. It was, it was actually quite funny to be honest. Um, anyway. So yeah, I mean, most of my methods, they are sort of thought through. It's not, I'm not just, I don't know, making shit up as I go. I don't know, sometimes I make shit up as I go. All right, there's that. And then, I might put those gloves on before I prep all. So I, I just moved on the weekend. I, I sliced open my finger there a little bit when I was moving. But now I'm in like a nice big house, so it's closer to work and it's bigger. Before I was in like a little two bedroom apartment, which, hey, it served its purpose. It was in a good area, but I don't know. It just got a bit small for us. I wanted a garage. I got one. And gonna have to do a couple of raw videos even. I might even do like a, I don't know, maybe like a weekly update or something on the raw channel. Just show you guys the progression. Like I'll give you guys a look at it now. And then, um, I don't know, just, Updates, yeah. Like at the moment, it's it's a mess. There's crap all over the place in the garage, but we'll give it a tidy up and you can follow the progress. It should be fun, fun little video series. Um, just checking everything else. So this is another thing I started doing, wearing my respirator and gloves when I'm prep soling. So I mentioned it in some videos earlier this year and late last year, but. I was getting um, like a bad nose, and I reckon it was the pretzel. Actually, out of all the stuff, I reckon it was the pretzel. I, I put it down to the pretzel. Yeah, originally I thought it was um, I thought it was the thinnest because as soon as you walk into that paint room in there, man, it is just stinky, like really stinky. Um, but. So that's why I thought originally that it would have been the thinner. But after a while I started to realize I think it's actually the prep salt, which is getting to my nose. And it was like a burning sensation that was pretty much there the whole time. Um, and it would sort of go on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon it would go. So after leaving the fumes for a couple of days it would go away. So the colour on this one was not very good, um, originally, I, I had to jump through a few hoops to get this one, 
what I ended up doing was something that some Instagram followers recommended to me. They said that what I've actually heard about this one a long time ago, but I think I only just did it for the first time yesterday and it worked really well. So what you do is you get your spectro and you spectro the three layer pearl, obviously, but you spectro it as a solid, right? So you, you tell the computer that you're looking for a solid color, not a three layer pearl. And then you search for it, you mix that color up, and you put the pearl from the, the correct color formula over the top of it, and it works really well. Like, yeah, it was better than any of the formulas that uh, PPG gave me. Every single formula was terrible, man. Like, I, um, I looked at the color chips. There was like five or six color chips. Every single one of them was bad. Um, I then used the Spectro as like the proper way you meant to use it. I actually had a PPG rep come out last week and because it was getting really bad, the colors, he showed me how he did it. Um, <coughs> And I did it his way, and it was still really bad. So, I even showed the boss, I'm like, man, this is the way that he told me to do it. And the way that he told me that he uses the spectra is like, he will like, take a reading here, and a reading here, and then he will um, look for a common variant, if that makes sense. So, um, he'll type the color code in, use it, both readings, have a look at both readings, and then that like if if there's like a yellow variant that comes up on both of the readings he'll go for that one so he doesn't always go for the first one and i'm like yeah okay i guess it kind of makes sense but to me man like i've always been like i want to if i want to match it here i want it to match 100 percent here i don't care what's going on over there i'm blending over there for instance you know what i mean either way um i listened to his method and well the first job I used it on, which is this one, it it let me down already, so I don't know man, I I don't I don't want to struggle with the colours on TPT but I am. One of my mates said, hey, the shit that you see most other people won't even see. But yeah, look ultimately I'm not the biggest fan of PPG, I think most of you guys know that, but I love this shop. As I was saying before, my bosses are really cool here. Um, I'm doing well, I'm in a good position in life, you know, I'm, I'm making good money and I've got that good work-life balance, you know what I mean? Um, I'm glad I passed up the opportunity to get into that workshop. I think it was not the right time and place maybe one day it will happen again i will get another workshop but for now i'm happy working on wages i like being able to switch off when you go home you know what i mean and i'm not always thinking about work which i know that can happen when you are a business owner anyway let's give it a tack round i'll probably split this video into two might do like a separate video for the clear coat stage because it is a um is a three stage pearl so i might even get a little video i'll get a tiktok video Now, I'm going to do 
a little TikTok video. Alright, let's get some colour down. So as I say, like I'd rather just put an extra coat of um, white base coat over that than, than the wet on wet. But hey, if you've, uh, if you've got a different method, that's cool man. I don't mind. I just put over the bits that I know is going to need it and extra coat so like those little cut screws where it's gone through to the primer and that's about it so from there I'm just going to put two more on And that wet on wet is basically our first coat, so this door is only going to need two coats. Sitting at around 20 PSO. I've got the, the fluid turned in one turn from full. When the PPG rep came out last week, he's trying to tell me that um, I needed to use the starter jet. I'm like, okay buddy, <laughs> I've heard that before. bumper just so the colours all gonna be the same. That was my call but the boss is all good with it. Ran it past him. Look, that's probably covered by now. That's probably all that gore should need. But uh, you know what? I might even put another half coat over it. For what it's worth, a downside better than getting it outside in the sun and, and finding it, it's a half a shade out, you know what I mean? Whatever a shade is, I don't even know what a shade is, so... <laughs> but yeah, so, 
I was actually looking into getting one of those vinyl crosses. I think they call it like a vinyl plotter or like a vinyl tapper and doing some sort of custom paint work at home. Um, I don't know, it's one, of, it's one of those things that I have wanted to do more of for a very long time, but I never seem to get the time. But I think I'm going to make the time this time. Why not? Now I've got that garage. It's always fun to learn stuff. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get the um, the air blower again and I'll be back in a second. Radio, right, so we're actually looking pretty good there guys, like it looks covered, but my rule of thumb has always been get it so it looks covered and then put another coat on. So here we are, we've put one more coat on. I mean, some some guys they'll um, they'll get the color matching light and and use that to make sure it's covered and and all of that. But look, I mean, I I find it's not really necessary. But hey, if you do it, good on you, man. Like I'm not I'm not really too fussed about the way people do stuff. I'm not really too fussed about much anymore these days. I just come to work, do my thing, man, and. Um, and go home. So again, I'll try this down. I think you're gonna go and get the pearl in the gun and I'll see you in a minute. Right here guys, continuing on, so I've got the pearl in the gun. I also dried it down obviously. And what I might do in between ground coat and pearl coat stage, just give it a bit of a tack rag. Doesn't look too bad, but there's a little bit of that white dusty overspray there. This will help keep it clean and stop the sand piling which you can get sometimes especially on the three layers there you go there's a lot there now that was a brand new tack rag before this job too so yeah definitely worth doing you may notice that i did my blends on those body lines so you can see there that's where the, the panel changes shape i guess this is kind of a bit where it changes shape but I didn't want to bring it up any higher, there's no need, just sort of keep the colour low where you can and um, I've actually got some base coat blender there, so that's T490, um, that's just transparent base coat I'm going to put that down before the last coat of power That's actually how I used to spray Sando Blue I would put the, all of your coats down and then on the very last coat of pearl I would put a coat of base coat blender in and it would help stop the sand piling or the sand pit class effect on your blend I don't know, it worked well for me anyway so I don't think I've actually done it yet with TPD but I just I was just thinking of it before I thought yeah I might have to start doing that with TPD or at least try it and see how it goes just bring that pearl up a little bit further than your base coat colour inside the door jams here they're actually a different colour like they're not it's not properly covered you can really see it there to there um, they haven't put enough base coat over the top of it enough colour over the top To be fair, I mean, it doesn't seem much, if any, weather on the inside of your door jam, so, you know, it's not done for an environmental reason, it's done for a cost saving reason, but if you think about it on an environmental level, the amount of extra paint that would be put on the cars, if they did get them fully covered and, and put two nice wet coats of clear on, it would be, you know, it would be a fair bit, so, I don't know. 
other is saying I'm optimist, I always try to look at the positive, the positive side on things instead of the negative. Like I was telling you guys about this shop here. Okay, you know, we, I have to work with PPG. It's not my favourite paint, but you know, all in all, man, I'm really happy there. So I just sort of, I deal with it and I look at the positive side, you know. I don't like those people who are just complaining all the time. But on, a, on some level, like, I understand it, I get it. Like, sometimes shit can be stressful and annoying. We live in pretty, uh, you know, high, high stress times, I guess, you know? Lots of demands on us and everything's so go, go, go. Everything's about that money, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to dry that down and I'll see you back here in a second for the last coat of base coat. Rightio guys, so last coat of base coat here. And as I mentioned before, we're going to put a bit of this base coat blender down. Good old crusty old Bavaria mate. Gotta love this gun. So hopefully this stops a bit of sand piling and maybe helps the blend. I don't know if it's really going to help the blend. Probably not. So yeah, the pearl, I just spray it the same as the base coat. One turn in on the fluid, 20 psi, and I don't change that with the three layer pearls. Like with your silvers and that, you I, like I like to wind the, the fluid in as I go per coat and drop the pressure up on the last coat. But I don't do that with the um, with the pearl on the three layer pearls. Anyway, I'm not going to put two coats of pearl on the inside of that door. Doesn't need it. So I'm gonna um, get the air blower, dry it down for a couple of minutes, and then I will still give it a 10 minute bake, um, just to make sure it's nice and dry. And I think I will. I'll split this video up into a couple of these. So be sure to keep your eye out in the next few days. And we'll have the clear coat stage up. But either way, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you would like to support the show, there's a link in the description where you can buy some gunman merchandise. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out. Quick look over the job. Radio guys, see you in the next one.